Hey everybody, TPK Racing YouTube channel. Uh, sorry guys, I haven't really been posting any videos. Uh, the last update I did was with the, the red car. It was on the lift and we were talking about doing biking um, adjustable, uh, triple adjustable suspension. Um, with the coronavirus and then with the protesting and stuff like that, it's just been pretty much hell. So... Um, we're kind of getting right on track. We just put on the dyno here. No, it's not running yet, guys. It will be soon. Um, we just were moving stuff around, and we, it was easier just to put it up here. So um, what we ended up doing is we went with AFCO Performance Racing um, double adjustable uh, coilovers in the front, and we went with Mensker rears. Um, it Badass shocks for the rears. Same thing with the fronts. Never really had any problems with the rears um, from Mensker or even for AFCOs. Um, the only reason why we were trying to do the uh, Vikings is because, you know, we just wanted to give them a shot, and we've never really used their triple adjustables before, and we figured, why not? Give it a shot. But we ran into some issues and stuff like that as far as for shipping and stuff like that. So their loss, our gain. Um, uh, we did order up the Holly system, um, got the Dominator set up. It is installed in the car right now. There are some wire, wiring that we got to do. Um, trying to do as fast as I can uh, with, you know, extra time. I mean, uh, between uh, Eugene's red car here, team car, and my other car, um, it's kind of hard to do stuff around when we got actual projects that really need to be done. So stuff is, you know, being done after hours. But... Um, like that Camaro uh, that I'm doing the turbo kit on. That's almost done as well. Um, so we did the Dominator on it. The Holly system's already installed. Well, again, with some wiring left over, like boost solenoids got to be done, and a couple of sensors. Um, let's see. Doing the co uh, coil on plug, uh, welding a bracket onto the valve cover and getting that done. Um, got some other stuff here to do. But as far as the major-ish stuff, that's already done. Um, got the bars where locations for suspension-wise where I want them. I got a couple of brackets to make for the anti-roll bar because of uh, we lowered the car. And um, other than that, I think we'll, we'll be okay. So there's a couple of races we want to attend to. Um, there was a race this weekend that we wanted to go to, which was uh, Anarchy No Prep. Um, you guys should still check it out. It's anarchynoprep.com. Um, check that out. It is this Saturday. Um, great race to go to and check out. Um, and they got streetcar classes. So, hey, if you guys got a streetcar, lock in and get down there. Um, I don't think we're going to make that one just because of the time, you know, that we don't have. Um, but there is another race that I believe is in Wisconsin. Well, it is for sure in Wisconsin, but, um, I believe it's, uh, the 27th it's on an airstrip. Um, no one's ever done it before. Uh, at, well, at least at that airstrip, um, the people that are promoting it and running it is clutch media. So check them out on Facebook, give them a shout out, like the page, um, and head down there. It's going to be a huge, huge event. Um, I think the payout's going to be like somewhere around like 16,000, 64 cars ish, something like that. So we definitely want to make it there because it's for cars that are like the red car here. Um, cars that have a, an alternator system and uh, a, a, a cooling system. So, which we have a radiator, we have an alternator. We're pretty much, we got glass windows, we got steel front clip, we got the steel doors, glass streetcar so um we're gonna get this one going hopefully soon maybe hopefully by the end of the week i'll have it fired up i'll have that video for you guys don't worry i'm gonna try to get you guys as much more content um now that things are starting to loosen up and lighten up a little bit um uh we're gonna keep going moving forward so i'm hoping to get some street hits on it and uh go to the track and start doing some testing uh we will be dynoing the car i'm just gonna do like a baseline dyno on it i'm really not trying to get to make like a number i already know what the car makes and what it's good for with the setup that we have um but ideally it's you know we we want to test the car on the street so i'm going to get a decent tune-up in the car on the dyno and then that way i got something i can um, work off of so um until then uh Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for um, watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, um, and I'll check you guys out later. Thanks.